I need to watch something that's gonna make me feel better about myself. So today we're checking out Hoarders. Woman fills up a gigantic farm to prepare for Armageddon, which that sounds pretty All fair. Right. You know, you know. Yeah, Ar that's Armageddon, what you need to save you know. up for, actually. I, I respect this. Yep, yep. So, I mean, I'm, I'm sure she's got like a lot of canned goods. You know, she's like a, what, a doom prepper or whatever. She's got all toilet paper. She's got ah. it right. She's got the Twinkies on deck, even though they, <laughs> they said they last forever, but they don't. They have expiration dates. But does that mean they go bad? I don't want to get off on expiration dates because that's a whole conversation. I mean, what, is a bad Twinkie bad? You know, I mean, <laughs> I mean, he, yeah. <laughs> he has shelf life for 26 days. For all what, I, I mean, they get, I mean, Dane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would say that they can go back. What is that? Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, that's almost what right. that Twinkie looks like on the way out. Dang, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not stocking Twinkies up for Doomsday mm -hmm. anymore. All right. Before we get to that, please subscribe to this channel. If you're not subscribed, leave a comment, do all that cool stuff. Check out Dane on Buff Pro on YouTube. Yeah, you know, subscribe to him. Also, check out the Toasty Games channel for some gameplay. Check out this clip. Kick it open. I'll go, kick go. it open. <laughs> All right, complete. a bottle. Yeah, well, good luck, everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave me here with the guy. Wow, amazing. Go check it. There's a, there's a little link in the description below. Check it all out. Yeah, thank you. Inherent passion. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. I do whatever I do. Okay. Big time. She could have said what? that she has a junkyard, you know? I mean, that's, that's all this is. She's got a freaking everything. Wow. It's even separated, too. Like wood and metal. It's like in different piles got all the pots hanging up you go go to your pot room this is actually this is <laughs> this is a horror movie where you're trying to escape the bad guy the guy's got the chainsaw <laughs> chasing you right yeah. you're like knocking pans over trying to get out and he knows where you are yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> this is like a zombie apocalypse obstacle course bro like she's good to go <laughs> how does she even have all this stuff man I mean, mm, wow. take, take this all the scrapyard be a millionaire i inherited this farm that's a big blessing I was the garbage lady, and now I'm landowner. She inherited it, and she was the garbage lady? Would she just keep all the garbage? Well, at least she's got a nice path to her house, you know? Yeah. She got, I want to <laughs> see the inside of the house. Oh, they even got like a little house over there, too. Is that the property that she owns that she's talking about? Did someone rent that from her? <laughs> she's got I wonder how the neighbors feel. <laughs> she, I mean, I think she, she probably lives out in the middle of nowhere, too. Like, oh, I'll say there's people living back there, but that's where she keeps all of her Winnebago's. <laughs> I'm Angela, and Linda is my best friend and my rock. Why did she roll her eyes like that when she said that? I'm Angela, and <laughs> Linda's my best friend, yeah, yeah, yeah and, and my rock. My saving increased that I could use these things. Oh, she's... Look at all these plants she's got growing out here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, wow. Mary, this reminds me of Mary... Look, I'm not, I'm not throwing any shade at Mary at all, because that, she's not a hoarder or anything, but Mary loves plants. Like, you know, having plants yeah. in the house. And uh, I think if we had like a farm and <laughs> space out, I could see her doing this, you know? I could see her just oh, having yeah. like a garden growing, yeah. All the other trash, like no, but the plants, yes. There is lumber, there is hardware, there are doors, there are toilets, there are sinks. You name it, it's there. Dude, playing Fallout, if you came up on this place, boy, whoo, you'd be cleaning up on your scrap. Oh my God, mm. you're rich. You can make everything you ever needed. I think God <laughs> is working through me. Wait, what'd she say? I think God is working through me. Oh, and she's a prophet. Wow. Oh, God's right. working through This is God's work right yeah. here she's doing. All right. these refrigerators out here hustling for God. <laughs> Praise Jesus. Got my trap, my old Ford <laughs> tractor back there. It hadn't ran in 40 years, but you know what? It's there. I feel like I'm a chosen one. She's the... Ch ah. <laughs> ah. Right. The chosen one. She's the queen of the trash. <laughs> that recliner looks like paper mache now. You know, as, God, as much as it's just been getting rained on. Ugh. It's a mad. What, what kind of, what do you got to be thinking, really? Like, you're sitting around, you're like, you know what? God's speaking through me, and I'm the chosen one. So I'm going to go and collect everybody's trash and keep it on my farm. The Armageddon. <laughs> she like, she like, the modern day, like, uh, Noah, she's like, instead of building an ark, she's just building a farm full of junk. <laughs> right. Wait, doesn't the rapture happen before all that? Even if she's like the chosen, won't she be gone anyway? Huh. I'm not sure. Hmm. The end of the world would be preceded by the rapture. Okay. Yeah, you, you know, you, the whole the whole idea is like, you know, if, if it happens, if Gabriel blows the horn, then if you're, if you're going to heaven, then he'll, he'll collect all of his, all of his homies, you know, and, you you don't have yeah. to suffer through all the bad stuff. So you know maybe maybe she just needs to read her Bible. You know she ain't gonna be here for that. <laughs> <laughs> She's prepped. She goes, nah, I She's already prepped. know. I done messed up. 
Yep. I'm Dean. I work at the farms. My friend Linda is the owner, and I love her very much. Ooh, got the, all right, you got, you got a high school crush, you know, oh, I love her. Go up on the hillside and you come rolling down that hill, it looks like shh, shh, big, beautiful area, you come over to her place, you're just like, God dang, <laughs> what happened? I'm like a squirrel collecting my nuts for the winter, but I'm collecting them for the future, which doesn't look to be most bright. That'd be a sad way to live, though. You know, I, I get like anxiety and, you know, oh man, the future sucks and all that. It ain't going in a good place, but just living your entire life out of like the anticipation that it's going to get so bad that you need all this trash to survive. Right. Bruh. That's tough. You wake up every morning. <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> the nukes hit. <laughs> you know, oh, I'm safe. Okay. <laughs> get back to One Horton. more day. One more day of prepping. <laughs> In reading revelations that, you know, the end times are just going to be social unrest, rioting, pillaging, plundering, throw in maybe a few natural disasters along the way, like all the super volcanoes will go off. The super, the super, super volcanoes, super volcanoes. Is that Hawaii? I don't know. You know, there's, they're out them super volcanoes. <laughs> I don't know. Is that like a real thing? Are they called super, super, vo super volcanoes occur in magma and then will rise of the crust, but it's unable to break through. Oh, like the, the explosions? Okay, I got you. Finance markets are gonna crash. There's gonna be nothing. No grocery stores, no hardware stores, no dry cleaners. If you want a nut or a bolt. I never understood the whole concept of like, suddenly everything's gonna be gone. Like, people are gonna like just quit and just go crazy and... <laughs> because that would also kill us faster, you know? Right. Like, it doesn't actually make sense for that to happen. Even if like financial stuff collapsed, like it would be another way. Like it, we, we, we would just like, well, stock market crashed. We're all, you know, we're all dead. Farmers quit making food. People can people stop doing anything. We're just all going to go and, and kill each other. All the our end. resources just disappear off the planet because, you know, <laughs> they just disappear. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if the world is like. I mean, I'm sure it can fail, and like, there's someone in the comment section right now that like, actually can, but it's just, it seems like it, it can't. It, feel, it feels like it can't. And maybe that's the beginning of the end. Oh, God. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> I just don't know what, like, freaking, what are those paper clothespins? What are those going to do for you? Something just insane happening. Everything just cut off. What will we actually do? I mean, people will just kind of chill, right? And by that riot, I guess. Yeah, there would be people freaking out, at least on the food part, right? They'd they'd be, they'd be big fights at the, at least where I'm at. They yeah. fight already, but. <laughs> so I guess because being raised in Mississippi, you know, it's like okay, so if like everything, everything shut down, what what would I do? You know, is like go out, go out in the woods and shoot some deer and go make fishing. a make a fire, go fishing, <laughs> you know, plant a garden, uh, you know. <laughs> Well, Hank Williams Jr., you know, country boy who will survive, you know, and all that. <laughs> Here in Australia, I'll just go out and freaking fight me some kangaroo, you know, eat them. <laughs> yeah. Anything that you might need or want, I'm sure can be found on that property. I would imagine. No, I mean, there's nothing here to actually survive with. Like, it's just junk. Like, there's necessities that you need. You need shelter, food, water. Right. The, the, like, what, this cat, like what, what is all this crap going to do? Like, nothing. Like, even if, even if the end of the world happened... And everyone started murdering each other all of a sudden. You could just go and loot, you know, this, 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 this right. stuff. I it's played too many I'm video saying. games. <laughs> exactly. Like, you're stocking up on the wrong thing, but it should just be ammo. You're good yeah. to go. <laughs> I had put all of her stuff away for the winter. He was re refinishing some wood. He went to have lunch. I went in the house and I was going to get some loving and I looked out. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. Those are two different breaks right there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who's he getting loving from? From from her? Yeah. All right. Yeah. No. All right. They're friends. Uh -huh. Wink, wink. Poof. Fire. Oh, that's what happened when he loved it. He loved too much. That friction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it went up in flames. I believe it was spontaneous combustion rags that uh, imploded. <laughs> She has some rags, Dane, that just and blew they just up. spontaneously <laughs> combusted. <laughs> it was the it was the goddamn devil. <laughs> He's trying to hold her boy, back. Boy, it's hot out there, boy. <laughs> just some, some spontaneous <laughs> combusted rags. Oh, <laughs> be 
careful. Hey. You know, you're over there. <laughs> You over there cleaning up that rag, you know, and it may just be a ticking time bomb. Who knows? <laughs> Millions of dollars worth of items destroyed in that fire. Millions of dollars. No one. No, no. Guys. <laughs> ah, these can't be the smartest people on the planet. I swear. Like, first off, there's spontaneous combustion rags. And there was millions of dollars worth of material that no one. It's junk. It's broken junk. <laughs> it only holds value if someone actually wants to buy it. No one wants to buy it. Like, what was that? filled with like couch cushions or something it was i don't know whatever <laughs> rags <laughs> millions of dollars millions of the massive fireland attracted more scrutiny from local authorities my issues with the health department came to a head they told me i needed to get rid of everything and when i asked to talk to them about it, they said we don't need to talk with you you just need to get rid of everything she lives in the middle of nowhere i'm surprised that anyone's got a actual problem, problem. with it yeah yeah, it's got to be a neighbor complaining or something, right? And they yeah. gotta have like a friend in power. Or, I don't like, know. like the, if you live like in the, in the county, they will do stuff about like certain things. Like, uh, I don't know if you remember back where I used to live, Dane. Like the uh, the first house we had, yeah. uh, there was a a trailer right down the road from me, and in the back they had uh, just a, a bunch of homeless people living there. Like they just had their tents and everything set up, which is fine, right? cool, you know, providing a place and tents and stuff for the homeless to live. And there was a bunch of them. Uh, and then people's stuff just started missing off their front porches and now their garages. And, uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, the guy, the guy down hanging at the gas station, like, you know, tweaking and you know asking you for money, you know, all this stuff started happening. And so someone complained and the police showed up and they just leveled everything and kicked them out. <laughs> they just said, no, nope. yeah. got everybody got to go. Yeah. They just uh, got, got rid of all of them. And you were like, Oh, the, the homeless people. Oh man. Uh, it, it didn't become a problem until it started getting weird. You, you know, like people walking down yeah. your road and like your kids are playing in your door and they kind of stop and watch, you know? Uh, right. and then like your, you know, you got your garage with like your brand new $300 pressure washer and all of a sudden it's gone and they find it out there, you know? Uh, <laughs> yeah so the, the county will do stuff it's just it it's not often it's gonna be pretty extreme and i guess it's right. gonna be an extreme situation because it's probably since she's got spontaneously combusting rags in her barn it's a danger to everyone around her she's gonna catch the entire countryside on fire kind of like canada right now i've experienced my local government as a real form of terrorism and i'm sick of it Ooh, she's about to succeed the government she's tired of the government they're trying to hold her back she's getting out of here yeah she's a sovereign citizen now all we can do is point out our concerns i know i've heard that over and over again so i really don't want to hear it again she's like yep yeah, i don't care all right i don't want to do this guy uh <laughs> whatever go away this is gonna be a tough one i can already tell i mean it ain't gonna be that tough you know if she doesn't do it then you, they just take her stuff away stuff right away. Take her, to, take her to jail. So while they while they clean it up for her, let continue fighting the team around the fire safety issue. They only want them to focus on reorganizing her second bar. And she just wants people to organize her stuff for her. Yeah, right. She's like, oh, I'm glad I got hands here now. Yeah, you yeah, guys can finally. help me. This kind of wood I take into the house and I burn it. What about this old basketball hoop? What would we do with that? I don't know. I think this is a good uh, piece of metal that can be used. Every single thing can be yeah. used. She's really taking it to fall out, bro. Like, yeah, she really is. She, man. I mean, I agree with her. Like, you can reuse this stuff if you have the means to. Like, if you got like a forge or something, and you want to melt it down and use it for something else. You got the the tools to do it. Sure, but will she? The tools, the willpower, no. the muscle. <laughs> All of that. Like, I understand where she's coming from, but the practicality of it is, no, it's not going to happen. It's just junk laying out here in your yard. I really don't want to be subjecting myself to your standard. It's about cleanup and organization and saving. I deal with a disorder known as hoarding. Oh, I love that. She's like, look, look bro, I don't really care what you think. <laughs> your low <laughs> standards of what all this nice stuff is, just organize my crap. <laughs> Yeah, just move it, bro. Hoarding. You can agree that this is a hoarding problem or not, but that's my job. I don't job. look at hoarding as a problem. I look at it as a virtue. Mm, yeah, it's a virtue because God, God told me. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't live my life thinking about peril and danger and what if and what if and 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 if what? <laughs> that's, that's her whole thing. What do you What do you mean? What are you talking about, lady? You're doomsday you're, prepping. You're the chosen one by God for the Armageddon. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? It literally says in the Bible that nobody even knows what's going to happen. You know? 
Wow. You don't know if it will happen in your lifetime. Oh, go. Oh. <laughs> wow. Uh, I said earlier, they're not the smartest people in that. Yeah, they're definitely. Oh, God. <laughs> they are not. Oosh. Well, that's dumb. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but she does have some cool flower earrings, though. I'll give her that. That's, that's cool. true. Wasting my time. I'm just trying to help her understand that she's in danger. I actually really wished you weren't here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> she's so grateful while she's like telling you to go away. Thank, thank, thank you. Namaste. <laughs> Respectfully. You respectfully go away. What's going on with you through this process? What's going on with Dean? I don't know if there's brainwashing here. They're just afraid of her for some reason. And we really need to figure this out. Oh my God, Dave, she's a cult leader. <laughs> yeah. Well, she is the chosen okay. one, right? She's already, she's already ticked off a lot of cult leader vibes. You know? <laughs> Yo, pull your mobile home out here, put your trailer back here in my yard. I'll save you guys. Yeah, I yeah. like it. <laughs> but this has a bunch of bull <laughs> We're talking about working. They're supposed to come out and be and supporting me. That they're just putting up roadblocks so they can't handle it. Is that inside of our house? Is, that, is this the inside? Oh. Yeah, that's them peeking through the door, I think. Oh, at least it's organized. Yeah. You know, she can walk through. It is It is organized, yeah. but man, it's... The mason jars are in that room right there. The, yeah. In that spot, you know? If you, if you need some clothes hangers, there they are. You got them. Don't you worry. <laughs> whether you you should care. Whether you feel respect or not, it is not doesn't change how my day goes. Those are really cold words. Well, and that, 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 that's well, what's offensive. So. What I, well, now, now they're offended because he's like, look, I got to do what I got to do. That's, that's offensive. What a, <laughs> oh, you don't care? Get out of my house. What is wrong with all of these people? Let's right. put you in charge at this point and tell these guys what you want. We're hoping that this little act of you're in charge, we'll get some trust back with her. We'll make her feel like she's in charge. And uh, <laughs> yeah, at least we'll get, uh, I don't know, man. And, uh, and, uh, make it look calm good. Calm down. Take it down a notch. It's okay. There's a lot of people trying to understand your just, method, which your method is not the norm for them. That's right. <laughs> they say and argue with practically nothing being discarded. The team concludes that Linda <laughs> in charge isn't working. Yeah, that, that, lasts, <laughs> that lasts like a whole five seconds. Tell me this doesn't make sense to you. It only makes sense because it makes sense to Linda. Okay. Wow. <laughs> she is brainwashed, bro. Yeah, dude. Like that's. Uh... <sighs> This is dumb. Wow. <laughs> even 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 this dude's like, yeah, this is dumb. This whole thing, this is stupid. I agree. <laughs> I agree. This is uh, now. I feel Jesus. bad for Linda. You know, she's the chosen one out here. She can't even get good help. <laughs> right? <laughs> this process that we're going through with nothing being thrown away is just enabling her. And if she's not careful, she is going to actually become just like Linda because we already see it. You're becoming her. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh. Brainwashing? Yeah, he's trying, he's trying to try to talk her out of it. Let's see how it goes. Leave the cult. You're becoming her. Do you hear yourself? You are I, I, becoming I, I, her. I live here. I work for her. I, I am, I'm, I'm, you know. You're part of the problem. <laughs> but she, but she owns the house. I gotta do what she says, or I gotta live somewhere else. Oh God. Wow. I didn't know this one would be so painful to watch. They found, they found a whole group of hoarders. Wow, we teamwork and cultists. <laughs> Angela sounds like she recognizes there's a problem here, but as soon as she starts down that path, she flips, and she becomes Linda's yes man. Angela has definitely drunk the Kool-Aid here. Dude. Right? <laughs> For real? <laughs> They're all drinking the Kool-Aid. Oh, God. Run. Oh. Maybe that was maybe that was a wow. sign for help. Maybe someone that there was someone else here. They they, they haven't interviewed them because they burned up in the barn. But they, <laughs> <laughs> they were trying to call for help, and that rag that spontaneously combusted. Yeah, yeah, that yeah was a that single was player. Yeah, now they're buried <laughs> in the back because you know they lost millions of dollars worth of materials. <laughs> the crew packs up to leave when the expedition becomes inspired to begin cleaning her barn. So this is what I've taken off of the floor of the barn. There was a little spark. I thought maybe we could build off of and start cleaning again. <laughs> She showed, all right, well, we're leaving because we're not actually cleaning anything. And she comes in with like this little half of a bag. <laughs> uh, I gotta, here's five items I found in the whole barn. <laughs> I found a little bit of something. That's progress. <laughs> Better get my gloves back on. Are we friends again? Oh, nice. Oh, they don't leave the, don't leave the camera crew leave, you know? I gotta get some more followers in here. I, okay. need, I need members, baby. Yeah, they told me they wouldn't pay me if they didn't get a whole episode out of this. So uh, yeah, <laughs> let's clean it up. If you can put something else in here, I'll go. I'll follow you to the moon and back. Uh, oh no, can... he's drunk the Kool-Aid now. Oh, what are you <laughs> She's doing? She's manipulated him. She's, everyone can stay at work now. Oh God. Uh, Within an hour of return to clean up, Linda starts to show flashes of her old self. 
Mm -hmm, mm hmm didn't last very long. If you're gonna sit there and shred up a pair of pants and save the zipper, huh? save the snap, because someday there's not gonna be zippers and snaps, how do I even reason with that? Yeah, yeah wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? She just has a bag of zippers? <laughs> like, wow. Just sew people's mouth shut or something? Like, what? <laughs> I'll have to ignore you for a while so we can get the job done. What are we gonna do with these bags that are full of stuff? Where do yeah, they go? Yeah, just don't where harass do these bags go? me anymore. Could you where just do these be bags quiet? Go? No, where do these bags go? Could you not stop and harass me? Oh my God. <laughs> well, now that we've organized what I says is trash into bags, then I'll keep those and you guys can leave. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, Ken. Look, what are those yellow things? Are those rags? <laughs> What? Is she about to dispose of the crew? <laughs> they <may> explode. <laughs> the yellow rags. It's just as bad as yellow cake. She's fight or flight all the time. So if you don't agree with her 100%, she fights you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very narcissistic, I think. Yeah, that's probably why she's yeah. got her minions around here is because either they agree with her and she's happy or they don't. She freaks out and they're like, oh, God, oh, well, well I got to yeah. make you happy. Yeah, they all got the stock. The only survive. Exactly. The only ones that can survive are yes men. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so there's two outcomes to Linda's story. She dies in the horde or the city or county comes and takes it away from her. Neither one's good. So sooner or later, she's going to have to address this. Well, I, thought the, I thought the city was like coming for her, the way they made it sound. Hey, you know, oh, they're coming to take your stuff. Oh, God. It's like. Right. I thought they were part of that crew. That yeah. Does that. <laughs> yeah. They just, they just showed up for the TV and they built the story to make it seem more intense than it is as, as they usually do. I just know when we leave, she's going to be able to sit here in the midst of all this stuff with the perverse satisfaction that she's been screwed over yet again. Yeah, it's true. They're going to leave and she's Ooh. like, oh, you screwed me over again. God dang, everybody's against me. I tell you what. Oh, my workers quit. I can't believe it. I don't want to generalize too much, but it seems like a pretty common thing in the, like, I wouldn't say like in the South, but just in your poorer places, the victim mentality thing mm -hmm. towards like everyone's out to get them, you know, the yeah. government's out to get me, you know, whatever, whatever, oh my God, you know, everybody's taking everything away from me and it let their place looks like this house does. And you're just like, yeah, right, <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, it's. Yeah, it's not even that. It's some people take pride in their their belongings, their home, their mm. everything, and some people don't, and they blame others for it. Yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> like, oh, God, you know, it, and I'm not trying to say it like a just don't be poor kind of mentality, like that thing of it, but it's like no one will help you unless you help yourself in life, right? Right. Uh, you, you can't not just blame everyone else for the things that you've done to yourself. Uh, which like this whole situation here, like she's just, they left without doing anything because she wouldn't let them basically. And then it's their fault, you know, according to her. I'm 100% like, yo, she needs some help with that. Mm. But then the other, I say 100% it's not because then there's another part of me in the back of my mind. It's like, well, maybe it's the, like you said earlier, ignorance is bliss, right? She's like the queen of this land. So do we just let it? <laughs> <laughs> because it does sound cultish at the same time. Yeah, they're, they're drinking the Kool-Aid in there. That's for sure. Golly, that, that old, you know, <laughs> Kool-Aid from the 90s. She's been hoarding. <laughs> Lynn refused any therapy, but did it accept aftercare funds for, uh, for a pair of farm equipment. She did accept their money. <laughs> wow. God. She's still convinced that civilization will collapse in less than a year. Yeah, of course oh. she is. The only thing that's going to collapse is her, her second barn. Yeah, oh, for real. Oh, God. <laughs> exactly. I don't even think about this. Of this comment right here. It's just me. If I inherited a farm and wanted to prepare for the collapse of modern civilization, I think I'd, you know, plant things. <laughs> <laughs> You're not oh, wrong. Dude, the whole thing is just... Oh, the whole situation is so stupid. I'm chosen by wow. God. The world's going to end, so I'm keeping pant zippers. <laughs> <laughs> and my rags are spontaneous combustion. Oh, God dang. Oh, Lord. Well, hey, if you thought that episode was just ignorant, then leave a like, leave a comment. <laughs> Don't just think down in the comment section. If today's your birthday, happy birthday. Still, my friends, I love you. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. You respectfully go away.